How's it going, TV? It's your boy CG here, and I'm back with another video. Today, I want to go ahead and discuss with you about the plans I have for 2023. Now, real quickly, I want to go ahead and discuss a little bit about what happened with 2022. Which, essentially, 2022, it, the channel started to pick up a little bit. The stream started going a little bit. I also was very busy with work, so I couldn't dedicate as much time as I wanted to. Henceforth, I was kind of uploading this sporadically, get, but I'm still, still trying to get videos out. And honestly, the support from last year was greatly appreciated. And I hope 2023 can even can do even better. Now, as far as the content related to the channel, what is going to happen, what is coming, what is staying, what is leaving, all such, we're going to get through with this. First and foremost, we're going to, we're going to discuss gacha games, and specifically the ones of. Tower Fantasy, Genshin Impact, Black Hope on Mobile, and essentially what I believe to be 7 to 70 Sims Origins. Now, with the Tower of Fantasy, as you probably have both realized, I have been doing Tower of Fantasy a lot as of recent, mainly focusing Tower of Fantasy on the channel, and that will continue to be the case. I have a plethora of video ideas that I still have listed and I still haven't started working on, down to the sure fact that when I was making the list, I was too busy. I do plan to go through and get those video ideas done, but I do need to go back, <coughs> go through and revise the list as a lot of those videos are scrapped due to either outdated footage or outdated to the fact that I just don't have the time or the resources available to make these videos actually happen. Now, with that being the case, obviously the video ideas change. I do a lot more work. It's not really a big deal. Ideas come and go. It's how, that's just how the how now it works, you know. You can't like be completely fair. You watch and ask any content creator, not even that send the videos that they have. I'm more than likely not gonna be making it making the cut. That's just how it is. Now Genshin Impact specifically, I, I haven't been uploading anything related to Genshin Impact in a while, so that's yeah, ignore that. Um, I haven't been uploading a. I haven't been uploading a whole lot of Genshin related content for a while. And it's not because I hate Genshin, I still play it. It's mainly down to the fact that I just haven't had inspiration for videos on the game. But I have been doing some live streams. Initially, I made an Asia account specifically designed for content creation purposes, but I have since dropped that account. From the main reason is I'm running three accounts on there. I was doing two accounts on Seven Days Since Grand Cross. I also have two accounts on Terror Fantasy. I have obviously as you can see Bleach Brave Souls. I have and I have a lot of other five games I, I play. So I just didn't have the time nor the resources to be able to manage all of that. So some some accounts had to get cut. Whether that as sad as that might be. Genshin, my Isaac account was cut. My Europe account is still being worked on slightly, but it's not as my main focus. Now, when it comes to Genshin Impact as content is concerned, yes, I can do should you summon videos, um so, these summon videos for certain characters, or these event type videos, but in complete honest with you, I don't want to do that, down to the sheer fact that it doesn't interest me. I specifically won't upload event details because I honestly feel most of the event details that you need to know can be in gathered just from the event itself. But like, and as far as I'm concerned, people to say, "Oh, you need to have this is how you get this one character," and such. Like in my head, so what? Like that? Then you just you're just literally just telling them what they already can know, already know just based. I'm looking at the event. They can just read the event like for two seconds, figure out that out. So you telling them, oh, if you get the care of right doing all this, like it's kind of pointless. And I also, and I don't see the reason why I should need to go through and do that. Honestly, I wouldn't. Want, I, it just wouldn't feel right to me as a content creator. So as far as it goes, it's most likely any videos I'm going to do as far regarding uh, 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 get an impact will be related to summoning videos. Now. I can't guarantee how often those Sony videos are going to be. Well, like I said right now, my situation is not exactly the same as it was, so I can't exactly summon as often as I was doing, but it's not a big deal. Also, that was not the character I was trying to swap. Thank you very much. Give me this. 
Can I put someone else in the back? I don't have anyone else putting love in the back. Actually, I can change. Right? Can you go to 90? Let me check. I'm playing like just while I'm doing this, because why not? I have some okay, yeah, you can love. Just why not have some gameplay in the back? And yeah, I could I do I could just do post recording, but what's the point in that? You know? Now going on to Black Clover Mobile. It's a a Among the Mobile game a um gotcha game that is I believe the piece set to release this year, and I haven't discussed about the game on the channel at all or my interest in it. But I have been keeping up with the trailers and all the news that I can get hold of. I unfortunately was not able to get into the close beta that happened recently. So I haven't got I I haven't actually got my hands on it. But I do as far as long as uh, inter my interest remains, I will be covering that game when it, in it when it drops. Hopefully, if there's another close beta, we can hopefully get in and show you some get you some content on it. The game honestly looks really good, and honestly, I guess it's another gotcha. I, I know it's another gotcha game. Oh no, he's the gotcha gamer and stuff like that. I get it. I I, I play a lot of gotcha. What can you really blame? You got you got the gotcha games are just that fun. So look forward to seeing uh, seeing some play plus. Uh, I'm sitting playing playing shows while I have bracelets, bracelets on the mind. But look forward to seeing some um, Black Clover Mobile when the game does drop. I don't know. Um, now, the next topic about when it comes to Gacha is Seven Deadly Sins Origins. Now, it's not that I. And particularly, like, we don't know a whole lot about it. We know it's open world, it's basically some of the Genshin. I can only assume we're going to have gotcha related elements in it, so it, but it could also just be, you know, a regular open world. You know? I try Thank you. Uh, essentially, like, since we don't really know a whole lot about Origin specifically, it's kind of hard to say what they're, it's going to happen until we get actual more more information. I believe it might from reserves heat it's planned to release this year, so we should hopefully get some more information before too long. As we only got at least to my knowledge, at least a couple of trailers. That's about it. So hopefully we get something more. I would hope anyway. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next topic. And then this is probably one that a lot of people are probably interested in, and that is let's plays and playthroughs. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest. Let's Plays have been pushed to the side. I've been doing most of those on Twitch. If you, if you want to come by the stream, you can feel the free. Just so come on, it's the uh, link. In, it's link in the description, right? You know, you know how it goes. But I haven't for I haven't completely just neglected the entire idea of doing Let's Plays and playthroughs because there's a lot of there's a lot of you know projects that I have started and I haven't finished. You know, like Data Kong Racing. Substrace Emissary and and so on. So I, I I do wish to go back and finish those, and that is my intention. But as far as it goes, like with there's like how goes on silver and stuff like that. It's a matter of getting being the having the time, getting get, getting in contact with the people involved, and making the and, and sitting down and making the content happen. I'm hoping to return. I'll get all those series back on the back on the channel, but hopefully in this year. I can't guarantee when it's gonna happen, if it actually will happen, but I will definitely try. Now, last I'm not well, like the last thing. Uh, but anyway, just basically covered two uh, that's like a couple of that was a little bit later, but that's fine. <laughs> um fighting games. Now I had did mention when I about literally a moment ago that I play a lot of fighting games. Like I've been playing like Nash Ultimate still, I've been playing Kobe Good Strive a lot more recently. I have played Street Fighter 5, but I'm looking forward to Street Fighter 6. It looks really good. I'm honestly very, very interested to see how they're gonna handle that game. I didn't get into the beta because most of those betas are PC PlayStation exclusive. I don't have a P I don't have a PlayStation console, so I can't get involved in those. So it, 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 it is what it is. And, you know I can't really do a whole lot about that. But as far as what I can tell and what I've seen gameplay wise, the game looks really good and honestly it hopefully will keep my attention more than it and or more so can hopefully I can keep my interest in it longer because Street Fighter Five I enjoyed. But I kinda of fell off that and I got into the game extremely late. So 
obviously I already talked about old series return to me. I have a document on my left monitor, so I'm, I'm kind of referencing that, so I make sure I stay on task here. <laughs> now, something that only my or my friend group knows about, and the people I talk to on a regular basis are aware of this, that is about my second channel. Now, I know I'm pretty, I'm small, I shouldn't be working on a second channel when I can barely keep up with my first channel, but I want to take a plunge. I've been doing gameplay and gaming for about the about last 70 years up on YouTube, and I want to take a different app, and I decided to go with anime reviews. Now, in the link's description below, you will find the link to that channel. There is no videos on it as of yet. I am still working on it. I got the intro in progress. I have yet to sit down and actually record it, record a video for that channel, and I'll be doing that hopefully before too long once I get find it. Once I finish, I believe well, I did. I did finish, just finish an anime last night that I will probably cut. We'll see. Now, obviously, you know it's anime reviews. I'd have it's completely new to me. I will do what I can. I cannot guarantee it. I would hope anyone who does go to the channel and subscribe and watches the videos, I help and for you to give me feedback because I'm not gonna know what I am doing. It's a completely new thing for me. So I hope I, I hope you guys will support me on this new endeavor. Now, I mentioned you man. Um, I'll get the chance to call Kira is so why not? Um, I mentioned. I got an intro workout for the new uh, second channel, and that's not to say that the, the current channel has not gotten an update. There is a new channel intro that actually was put at the beginning of this video. If you noticed it, it's it's something very small, not as interesting as the last one. I wanted to do a lot with it, but you know, keeping intros down to 10, 10 seconds is the idea from YouTube because you got to keep your family viewer attention within 30 seconds of the video. So I cut I cut a lot what I wanted to put in the intro out, but I do plan to use that, the content I had for that into another video at some point. Basically, doing a 2022 recap, but I I have to do that rather sooner rather than later before the year gets too far into it. Obviously, I'm also working on a, on a new outro, so that show, the current one will still be in play until I have the new outro ready. Everything. Is, Everything is going to be set set in stone once I get everything done. I'm it's, I'm still work, end up working progress here. Now, what about videos like the ones that are up and coming, the new stuff that I'm working? On? I can give you teasers to two videos, and the thumbnails for the videos will be on the screen. Annabelle is a, is subject to drop in literally six days from now on Tower Fantasy. I will be doing my summons on my alt account, and I'll be to make sure I'll be uploading that video to YouTube for you all to see. So you can hope you all can stay tuned to that. And I have been talking about this since the well, about a couple about a month or two after the game launched, and I have not, I have not kept my promise here. But in the it, coming soon, as soon as like once I get all the final testing. Everything, everything's all good to go. The NA guide will drop off the channel. I have been saying to multiple content creators, multiple people in the community, that an NA guide is coming, and I am going to deliver on that promise. For those who don't know, I am the I'm an NA main in Tower of Fantasy. Everyone who I play with knows I'm an NA main. They they's like, oh, he's the NA. He's gonna run up run up me with at me with the with a big old hammer. Like it's just a thing that I'm known for. Cause I stuck by the character and I still use the character. I believe personally that SR characters in Tower of Fantasy are, are just as viable as most SSRs. I know that is an unpopular opinion, but that's how I see the game. Then again, I'm just the one who likes to put the uh, lower class characters in use, and while everyone else is trying to set focus on the quote unquote meta of the, of the game. That's just how I am. So, hopefully, you guys can look forward to both the Annabelle sentence as well as the NA guy that is soon to come. I have, again, I mentioned earlier, I have a lot more videos planned in, in, on a, in a document that I am going to work my work on to get, all, get out for you in a timely manner without rushing the product. Now, I will briefly mention that. My effectiveness with ed with editing and thumbnails, layouts, is hindered at the moment. But that's just due to some circumstances that I'm currently involved in, but that should change your 
soon. A lot of things are going to be changing this year outside of the content creation, IRL. So if I do go on a bit of a drought for content creation, understand that there are some IRL stuff that is being taken care of. It's very important because it's going to allow me to do a lot more for YouTube and streaming later on. So hopefully if plans go as they should, we should be good to go in a couple months. I can't speak on what those what is happening, but for those of you who are in the front of you have talked to me, I've talked about this, you know what's happening. But and the last thing I want to go ahead and say this is my last thoughts on this. 2022 was a great year. We have the channel started to pick up. It's really start it's and it's still picking up to the, to even now. And 2023 is gonna be just as better just as good. If not better, actually. No, it's not not if not better. It's gonna be better. Because the content is going to keep coming out, the streams are going to get lit. I have a lot of things planned out for the year. It's and a whole lot of things that I haven't even thought of yet that I am probably going to make in during the year. Because you know, I'm I don't come up with the ideas off on, my, on the spot. I think about it, I plan them out, I look into it. If I can do it, I do it. If I don't, I don't. That's just how it is. Oh, and I didn't mention this because I, you know, mainly because what was trying to do. Uh, Brave Souls dailies, and I didn't really consider it. These Brave Souls will most likely not be on the channel as far as content's concerned, mainly due to the, sh the fact that I don't play it as that very, very often. And it's, I don't really want to upload something that I don't play too often, the next, because that would be kind of spreading my community a little too thin, even though I'm kind of a gotcha, a, a gotcha community, I guess, I guess, I guess at this point. <laughs> but and that's gonna do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and ring the bell so you can get notified when another upload comes out and again it's in the link in the description of the, of the, of the second channel as well as my twitch you can come by twitch.tv twitch sports at cgtv streaming pokemon star tower of fantasy genshin impact and who knows what else coming up in, up in the future i mean uh, there's something coming up and uh Let's just say, you're going to want to be there. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.